<gasps> Barry! Ah! Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. He's here, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. He's here. Oh my god, oh gosh. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Madarami must have had his change of heart by now, right? I'm sure he'll be fine. So far as nobody's come charging us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges till after the exhibition? What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He's still, he's still staying in Wadarame, right? Oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Madarame. Sorry I'm late to contact you all. See, something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Madarame is on the phone as we speak. Um... What do you mean with something? I believe he's preparing for a media announcement. I didn't hear anything about pressing charges. I guess we gotta wait then. Let us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then! Oh. Sleep time. You have expelled one who was stained in vanity. You are now one step closer to your rehabilitation. It's a delightful thing indeed. Our master is pleased. You should be honored, inmate. However, that man's remarks are concerning. It seems another has made their way into the metaverse. Hmm. Who could it be? That is beyond my knowledge. Do you just sit here all day, old man? Is progressing smoothly. That is you see certain. everything except that? You gotta be May lying. The devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. I feel like you're lying. My bond with Igor is growing deeper. Rank up. Lame Rufo Lamau. I like reading the combo. Oh! Oh! I, oh, oh, I almost skipped I that. I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... and even Sayuri. How could I... I possibly apologize to... To everyone for... For what I've done. <laughs> that cry face, though. <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame. The Museum of Vanity. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. Police hospital? However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom <gasps> Thieves. Panky boy, panky boy, panky boy. You guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves. 
Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Okay, so that all happened. Wow, I can't believe the goat showed up though. Both of my faves that I went for in this game. This will be fun. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. Oh, cops. We may want to quiet down a little. I never noticed Yusuke's casual fit. He got a blazer? Is that a Do casual you know blazer and everything? Wow, Yusuke, a casual day out, he wears a blazer. You moron. Those are attendance officers. Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, uh, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? We're delinquents. Oh! Hmm? What did you say? Uh, <laughs> that was a joke! <laughs> he didn't get much sleep last night. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. Your acting sure was helping, Ann. We'll need to be even more cautious than before. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as oh well. Oh my... Yusuke! Wait, what? Excuse me. <laughs> Yusuke! Did you just offer to go to Anne's house just like that? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you want. Ryuji! Don't encourage him. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? Now then. Tell me about this new member who joined your group. He's a weirdo, no but I love stubborn. him. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Ooh. I'm a jerk. I'm not telling. Yell at me. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. I remember him! He I legit don't remember him! Previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So... Exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. 
Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. I think this guy's also sus too. I kind of forgot Damn about him. Woman just had to stick her nose into this. Yeah. And yeah. I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached this with the dude. utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> Makoto! How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? Okay, that's not fair. There's only one of her. She has school. She's literally the, the school, like the class president or the school president. And now you're mad at her? She's only one person investigating. And she won on her free days. Her like one free Sunday just to investigate students. I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> You knew, didn't you, about Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students? Sir! Humpty Dumpty just turned a, turned a side eye. That's how bad Humpty Dumpty is. Never ever trust Humpty Dumpty, alright? So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Madarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashita's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. Like, what, what would you do? You're the class president, all responsibility goes on your shoulder. That's, that's Madarame. Oh my god, I just noticed Madarame. Who drew that? <laughs> Dang, kids are mean. How's it going? Have you found our next big target? Anne looks the most in uniform, because when she's wearing her winter uniform, she's definitely gonna get like, dr not dress coded, but it's more like she's definitely wearing like another hoodie. Uh, hoodie. She stylized it, she got leggings, it's probably not allowed. I mean, usually if they say you wear leggings, you should wear, like, black tights. That's what they usually say. But Anne in her summer uniform, I mean, she's pretty much in uniform, except she's got a little sweater around her waist. I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? TV station for what? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just want to ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. <gasps> Kasumi! Uh, senpai. Kasumi, it's summer, isn't it? Why are you wearing a sweater? I know in Japan the heat's like it's like it's pretty hot there. What a pleasant surprise. Kasumi! It's really pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen, so I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Wow, Morgana Wingman! <laughs> Morgana Wing best wingman! Keep packing for me, please! <laughs> what a considerate kitty! I will ask him to always keep packing for me, please. You want me to pack a towel and change of underwear next time? Excuse me? Well, see you around.
The Luna was too stunned to speak. Here, where's your umbrella, Kasumi? I'll be nice. Very good. Unfortunately, I forgot it. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Uh... You want a piece of this? Here to what? What do you mean you want a piece of this? What would, what would happen if I said that? What? <laughs> what are these options? Oh, you'll share your umbrella. Why would you? Why would you say it like That'd that be though? Wonderful. Thank you so much. When you offer someone your umbrella, do you say? You want a piece of this? I've never heard someone say that to someone before. Who says that? Who says that to someone? <laughs> when you want to offer their umbrella. <laughs> Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Uh, is it for gymnastics? That's right. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer, and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'll cheer you on! I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we're already at the station. Oh no, she's adorable. Oh no, she's adorable! I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school, and a boyfriend to escort her around. Miss Special okay, Snowflake sure is living on easy. They're definitely pushing the joke, the Joker, and well, the the Renex um, custom ship, very strong. I'm sorry, you shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Don't worry about it. President, what is the meaning of that posting? Principal Kobayakawa put that up without my... We've already received some anonymous information. I heard some students are getting threatened. I'm so scared. Please do something. What? They have dirt on me and they're demanding money? I can't go to the police, what should I do? Isn't this talking about the crimes that have been rumored to be occurring in Shibuya? So there are even victims at our school. What should we do? This isn't the responsibility of the student council. This is frightening for us too. I was gonna say, what are high schoolers supposed to do about a situation this big? This is something adults have to get more involved in. Principal Kobayakawa called you in yesterday, right? Did he tell you anything about this? Well, no. He's out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please wait on this for the time being. If you say so. My apologies for the confusion. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this. And... Sounds like the principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? He's being sus. It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment, too, and just turned a blind eye to it. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst! So that's what he's using Nijibu Senpai for? <sighs> oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it, too. No, Makoto couldn't... No! Nijima Senpai knew? I, they're twisting rumors. They're twisting what's her, her situation. What is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? 
Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. Her sake? I thought the more information you had, the Look easier at his your face. investigation would become. He's being slimy. And did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shuchen who are being threatened by a criminal organization. Ugh. A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. She can't do anything. Sir, are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. But that's absurd. So, let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? I... Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in Her your sister position. is not a minor! Of and is a lawyer! I hope you don't disappoint. I think that's good. Not bad, Bonbon Senpai. You're pretty flexible and you catch on so fast. At this rate, you'll have the fundamentals down in the heartbeat. Your body's aching just for mimicking Kasumi's poses. It's all about the harmony between the internal and external bleak muscles. I can't get enough of it. We're just getting started. Uh, we're just getting started then, even though I'm dying. I knew it! Well, feisty army. I'm glad to hear it. Expert level gymnastics are beautiful, but they demand a lot of stretching. Alright, let's continue. I stretch with Kasumi. Good effort! I think that's enough stretching for now. Good effort, senpai. And, um, I'd like to continue with our training, but... I'm actually not doing so great at the moment, so... I'm not sure I can manage anything too strenuous. Next time, then. You doing okay? Lucky for me. Are you doing okay? Oh, I'm not sick or anything. Physically, I'm doing perfectly fine. I was thinking... Do you remember how I said I wanted to talk to you about something? I've been feeling like I'm stuck in this slump. No matter how much I practice, I just can't get any better. I went to my coach about it, but... She told me to take some time off from gymnastics. According to her, I need to think about who I really am. The idea is not stop doing gymnastics, just she wants me to take a break. Mm, I see. I never had an issue that practice couldn't solve, but now I have no idea what to do. So, um, I want you to help me, Bonbon bon Senpai. You know... If we're not doing gymnastics, will you keep going, going out with me? Uh, romantically? No. Uh, no, not like that. Boo. I heard my coach praising me. She says Kasumi's greatest weapon has always been her boldness. And honestly, that used to be true. I, I was totally fearless, confident. Gymnastics is a fun challenge. But ever since I started high school, I've been in a slump. I got taller, for one, and there were some other, uh, complications. I can't move how I want anymore. It's not even, not even my own body. And I fell into a depression. It's got pretty bad. But... But when you helped me in Shibuya, something occurred to me. When I saw how fearless you are, how confident you are, I knew you were the right one for the job. If I stick with you, Senpai, I think I can learn how to be confident again. Then follow my lead. Yes! <laughs> Great, I'll try to. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're a strange one, Senpai. How did I think you'd, you'd accept? Well, I'll try and return the favor through our deal. I get sense of Kasumi's appreciation. Oh, we're already here. And that's why 
why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And... Huh. Everyone knows that. I, I actually didn't... I don't want to be that person. I didn't really ever think of it like that. I was like, oh, god dang it, ads again. That's always what I used to think. Oh! Yeah, that's me. He ain't even listening. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Did this get any more obvious? Uh, well, Anne's in this biz- or no, no, she's like- she didn't model before, right? So I feel like she'd understand these things. I'm so sleepy. Wow, he's not even listening to what I said. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? During, like, school I field swear. trips. I'm not gonna. Uh, I always, like, I was never really mm -hmm. too big on, like, the tour stuff. I don't know. For me, the best part of field trips is when you get to explore on your own. But I mean, sometimes it's nice. Like, obviously, they're doing their job and explaining and teaching us things. But like, I guess when you're a kid, you just like kind of you kind of want to run around, look at things, be like, "Ooh, pretty shiny." Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there, you want to be on TV? Bossy. Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> Jail. I'm so pissed off. Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Oh, no! What did I press? Here. I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Oh, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? Oh, man. No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Oh, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but... You'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Oof, I can't. I'm such a wimp with roller coasters. Uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. <gasps> there he is! Ah! Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? He's here, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. Oh my god, oh gosh. Yeah, what do you want? No, oh, I'm so happy he's here. I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What? You a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? 
I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Akechi! Oh. Ah, it's Akechi! Oh, oh, he's so cool. Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Oh, hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. No, all the praise and love for you! We've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? Ah, oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun! Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <laughs> You're just jealous. But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Whoa. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. That's very specific, Akechi. Very. Hmm. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, looky, let's looky. try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. Mm. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Ooh. All right, let's try asking this student here. Ooh, I love this. Speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? Hmm. They do more than the cops. <laughs> This completely oh. goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Akechi-kun. Fight me, Akechi! Bring it on! Bring it on! Chu can play at this game, Akechi! Of course she comes to Joker. Of all the students, it's, it's, it's the hair, isn't it? It's because, it's because I, uh, you could tell I'm the anime protagonist, right? Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? Mm. Ooh, what would you think? Now, I feel like that's deflecting the question, though. Because he already asked me the question, and if I say, what would you think? That would just seem like, oh, I don't know, so I'm gonna deflect my answer. Um, I'm gonna say they only target criminals. I see. But how can you be so sure? <laughs> Whether the thieves' actions are good I or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? 
What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. Kinda <laughs> seemed like what he was saying might be right. He is on a, on a, like, he has a... He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. Wait, Ryuji, it's not that simple. You little, you adorable little simpleton. Um, I catch you does have a fair point. Cause, imagine if the Phantom Thieves weren't doing this for the right reason. We would probably be similar to Light Yagami from Death Note, if we were not doing this for the right reasons. It, and I mean, Morgana always like gives us a warning too, that we could mess up. And if we mess up, we would be, you know, we could unalive someone and we don't want to unalive someone, you know? We can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry, I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god, I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you! Akechi, Akechi, Akechi. I wanted to thank you in person. For what, Akechi? That was a sus conversation we had there. Ooh! To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> my apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Was it a catchy? Was it? Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Oh, maybe we'll go start our bond. I am thou. Thou I art thou. I. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. What's his it name? Shall become the wings of rebellion. I forgot what his was. By chains of captivity. With the birth of the justice. Justice! Persona, He's the justice I have persona. The wings of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Yes. We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? Oh! The hell? Makoto! You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Makoto. Makoto. Oh, were you blinded or... I don't know. I mean, I don't blame her for being blinded. A lot of students were blinded. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? Yikes, they're fighting! You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself. I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. Hmm, Ryuji. They've gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? Makoto! You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Well, and you're acting a little bit on your emotions right now. I liked your thought process earlier. It's okay to be angry though right now. 
Makoto did say it brings some stuff up that is sensitive to you. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. She wants to do more to help people. She doesn't know what she can do. She's only one person. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. They were not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? Wait, where are you moving? So you moved out of his, his dorm? Oh, you skate. I don't know where else he got. I was planning on staying at Takamaki san's. I mean, aunt's house. You skate. Why are you still odd about that? I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. Yusuke, did you even ask Anne? What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. <laughs> You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. At least Yusuke brought it again. I know he's being respectful. He's trying to be like he's he's obviously got the he he has scholar. Oh my god, I forgot with Yusuke. He's so he has so much scholarship money. And he spent it on the most randomest, most expensive things. Why did you spend it on the expensive Japanese sweets, Yusuke? Seriously though, what are we gonna do about him? Just sleep here. <laughs> I'm dying. I keep playing Joker Jerk Run, and it's so fun to me. I'm not gonna lie. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Morgana, what are you gonna do? Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Does Yusuke become a roommate? I don't remember Why are that. Are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. <laughs> Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Wait, I just realized. Where do we shower? Sorry to cause you trouble. What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. This guy. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. <gasps> so you know, best dad! He's the best dad, look you. Aw, oh, thanks, Anne. Now he's gonna give you guys all, what's gonna get, coffee, food? You're helping, though. Oh. Well, that's, a, actually, that's a parent thing to do. Never mind. Wow. it's delicious. If you bring friends over, they're gonna be guests. That's it. But you still gotta help. There's no getting out of that. Hmm, indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh yeah, I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh, give me a taste. He just stole it from man. So bitter. Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment. Ryuji still has a baby tongue. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh, man. Nah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. I like how Yusuke knows how to act like a decent person around adults. And then around like kids his age, 
he becomes a completely different person. Like, he becomes a weirdo. It's okay, Ryuji. I like my sweet coffee, too. Me, too! I'm sorry. You can call me Baby Tongue if you want. I like the scent of coffee, but this is why I like instant coffee, because I put mostly milk and water, and then I add the instant coffee, and then I add more sugar and everything. So, like, look, I like coffee more for the scent, but it's so bitter. I don't know how people drink, like, black coffee. I mean, I, if y'all drink black coffee, I feel like y'all are like Satan spawns or something. I don't know how y'all do it. So you're a. Uh... On, on to Kamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice. Oh, he called her Anchan. Got a boyfriend? Nope, never have either. Hey, you gotta get up here. This place is freaking insane. Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Man shook it. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Oh, they left Mona! Oh, no! Hmm. Sweet girl. No. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Is it because I cleaned it up that they gave that response? Because what if I didn't clean it up? I feel like they might give a different response if I didn't clean up beforehand. Right. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Yusuke! And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? <gasps> Yay! Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? Hot pot in this weather? Oh yeah, hot pot's usually nice during winter. It's summer right now. That doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Mm. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. 
Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Oh, Sai is this kind of- she basically isn't a mom for her. But that must suck though, she doesn't have like an older sister, she just has a mom. Basically like a mom- a very strict mom, if that makes sense. I wonder if she just wanted a cute like sibling relationship with her. It looks like they have an age gap. I mean, how old is Sai? 24? I assume she was 24 while like Makoto is like 17 or something. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes. Mm hmm. It's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? What do you want to do, Makoto? Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady An. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. <laughs> Ma Morgana. Weirdos. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Oh, Yusuke! You're so time, hungry! <sighs> She's asleep already? It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know An? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady An like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's our looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. Hmm. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? Alright, I'll tell ya. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. You're not a rotten kid, Yuji. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. She must be a... I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. Ryuji seems to have a very good mom. No matter what, she just takes responsibility of her son. She doesn't blame him or yell at him, it seems. Oh, no wonder Ryuji loves his mom so much to the point he wanted to make it easy for her. They say at school that everyone is equal. But in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Oh, will we go more into depth into this? Oh! Damn brat! I'll sue! It's him. If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No. Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... Uh... This is BS! Shut up! 
You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly huh? attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. Boo! And this man got injured. Boo! Okay, but I don't know what her reasoning is, she but. Says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. At least I hope. I'm. I don't know her circumstances. That girl age. I. I. What she did was not right at all. Obviously. Especially. God, it's so bad. It, I, I don't want to blame her completely either, too. It's She's definitely going to be blamed a little bit. Because she shouldn't have said that. But also, I feel like even if she said what she said, uh, I forgot the drunk man's name, whatever the drunk dude's name is, he would have made her have, probably have a miserable life after. Gosh, I can't blame her all the way, but it also sucks. I mean, the real- the real bad guy's right there. The real bad guy is him. No matter what. More- more than her, the real bad guy is him. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. I mean, time. agreed, Yusuke. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? Mmm, it was pretty dark, so I couldn't tell. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to get revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this... because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. I get you having huh? a ball. Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. His natural-born talents. Don't you talents. think the same about yourself, too? <gasps> I... Makoto wants to help. She's a good girl. She wants to help people, but she, she knows her abilities are limited, so she feels guilty. Oh, huh. that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. You're poking her. You're poking her. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. 
He intentionally poked her. Why does everyone get on my oh, case? Oh, Makoto! Everyone's her uh, poking her. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Probably because... He reminds me of my old self. That's why he's so That's hard all. on him. Now, people are usually... Okay, adults who see themselves in, in kids, they usually are the hardest on those kids, specifically. Because um, when you're seeing yourself, when you see the mistakes you go through, you don't want them to do the same exact thing. So the ones the adults are the hardest on the most are the ones they actually care about the most. That's why Soju is kind of a meanie to us. <laughs> You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. You up? You finally up. Oh, I forgot. The kid ended up going back to his dorms. Oh! That's why I don't remember him staying with us. He left his painting before he took off, though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Don't sell it. Don't be ridiculous. I never let go of beauty like this. And this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars would probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Niji Misan's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. Okay, so let's go to Nijima. Who's Nijima? I don't want to. Just go. If you don't, they'll come and complain to me about it. Fine. The student council room is on the third floor, next to the library. I think I'll end after Got this. It. After whatever- oh. Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Hmm. This is the student council room. What were we called here for? This is rather strange. Oh, she's voicing it. Perfect. Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. Could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? 
What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Mm. Ask the culprits. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? Hmm, let me think about it. <laughs> let me think about it. I'll think about I it. That time would just be wasted. Go ahead. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. Ryuji, you idiot! That idiot! <laughs> no. As loud as always. But his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. Oh, okay, this is happening fast then. We're already starting. Okay. Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What? What the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto, on to Kamaki, and you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. <sighs> Makoto! I, I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer. I think this is a good ending point. Then, we have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes, it's best we agree, at least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah, my bad. So, we doing this? If everyone wants to, it's our only choice. Well, it's the only choice we're given right now. All right, we're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A mafia boss. Mafia? What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse, once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's their boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. 
If you're really the righteous Phantom Thieves, or is Akechi Kun correct when he says you act without justice? Okay, I had to pause right here. Makoto, what the heck? You're, you, you know for a fact that all of y'all are high schoolers. That even though they are the Phantom Thieves, that is scary. That is scary for a bunch of like 16 year olds or like teenagers to do, go through. Mafia bosses are not something you could just walk in and mess with so easily, you know? Michael, so why are you talking like that? I know you're trying to act this out and sound a little pretentious right now, but come on. You know. You know that you're better than that. Can't you say something witty back at her? Something witty. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. Sister of a lawyer. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. I feel like Makoto. She has good intentions, but she's not good at ex or speaking her intentions well. Obviously, they're gonna think she's bossing them around. She has a she's the, the school president. Principal has her back. She's the principal's favorite. Like, and she's talking like this to them. Like, you could they're fair enough to judge her like that. But at the same time, I wish they under they they I wish they understand her perspective better. But because Makoto's carrying a lot of burdens for one like high school student to carry. The student council president from Chujin Academy. Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? Your sister. You seem upset. Oh, I want to be a jerk. I want to be a jerk. <laughs> a little upset, aren't we, Miss Sai? I'm not. Oh. Why would Makoto? Well, honestly, you don't pay Bringing attention to your sister, sister that much. You're upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. The Mafia... Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still... Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How?! We are in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for... Oh, right! That might make people believe in us! I get it! That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves! What do you say, leader? <clears throat> The Mafia, huh? Could I have a moment? Yusuke! What's up? Well, it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayori. Oh, you left it with us. That's right. So if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Yeah, sure. Let's go, Yusuke. Let's hang out for a little bit. Ah, <sighs> the Sayori. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. Yusuke, what happened? Oh, uh, calm down. What's going on? Believe me, I am attempting to withhold my anxiety as much as possible. But to put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation. But the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slum. Are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. Oh, the art student life. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. 
I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move, and the resulting work reflects such impurity of mine. I know they make these topics so lighthearted in this game, kind of. Actually, no, I, I take the back. Persona 5, yeah, they have like cartoon violence and cartoon, like cartoony type of, but like when you think about it, it, it is kind of sad. Yusuke has no one now. Not even, a, oh, not his own father figure is, not, he doesn't even have his own like father figure anymore. His guardian that was taking care of him, you know? His, his mama yeeted before he even got to know her so well. So, like, Yusuke's pretty much carrying all these things on his own. He's an artist, and, ar and it sucks when you get an artist slump, too. As an artist, when someone went to art, art school as well, um, it sucks because you, you start- I understand what Yusuke's feeling, because, um, the first few years of my school, like, I was just really passionate. I had one idea after the other. And this is not to say I still don't like- like, I still feel that way. It's, it's, it's interesting, like, when I first started, I was like, yes, one project, I got this, I'm creative, I have these all these ideas running. And as I was going through school, I was like, I feel like I was being restricted into a box again on how to do things. And I think that restriction, like, put me in an artist slump too at some point. I, it almost felt like the creativity I had is being, like, pushed into one small box. And I was not liking that, and because of, uh, people are wanting things in a certain way that I felt like it's almost like everybody else, I felt like it wasn't me being unique with my own art style anymore, it was just whatever people, whatever the school was wanting from me. And so that, all that kind of pressure, that going through like that, kind of like made me like feel, like it was putting me into a bad artist block, not be having the freedom of how to make my work. But in Yusuke's case, it seems that, like, he's not only, like, having to, like, he has a scholarship, he has, like, the dorms, whatever. He has to, he go, he's going to art school, so at least money for school is fine for him. Um, but, like, yeah, going through, like, art school just to keep a roof over your head doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like you're doing it for yourself anymore. I think that's where Yusuke is just feeling, like, all sorts of feelings. To be honest. I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist No, anymore. Yusuke! You are being tough on yourself. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. No, don't but apologize. I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I am so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori, her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. But, if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I'll be glad. Well, I want to be a jerk, but like, I mean, none of these are really jerk. It just sounds yes and then maybe. So, I mean, if I'm given those kind of options, I'm like, yeah, I'll just say yes. Why oh, no! Oh! Uh, very well. Oh my god, I didn't mean to press the second option, but okay. Schedule. I only hope that you make time for me once you are less busy. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I think- Nijima-kun, what is going on here? What's, wait, what's happening? 
Apparently, the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy, if it were to be discovered. You are more concerned about the academy going to getting a bad reputation, but not the fact that your students are getting involved in crime? That teenagers are probably gonna get themselves hurt? That is your priority? Humpty Dumpty looking mofo? This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? Sir, she is literally an 18 year old child, all right? And I'm saying, yeah, she's an 18-year-old child. She's still in high school. Sir, what is she supposed to do to the Mafia? Fight them? I mean, she can if she's a phantom thief, but... Sir, what, what, what are you expecting her to do? I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. And You're what the only one who is reliable around here. And what Don't are you doing, Humpty Dumpty? Sir... What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. I was just looking at the bulletin. By the way... By the way, how's the investigation going? I don't believe there's much time left at this point. Uh, it's not... Do you have any info? Well... You mean about the bulletin? Sorry, but there's nothing I can say to you right now. Actually... Anyway, this is a very important matter for our school. We can return with the good, with good news. But don't worry, I'll keep my promise as long as you uphold your end of the bargain. Okay. Nishiyama, that's me. Hello. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? What happened to Ida? Ida? How do you know about that? Are you doing something, Am? He's been acting really strange lately. I want to help him. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? Okay, bro, the way I'm talking to him is not really all that nice, but tell me what you knew. One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. Um, uh, what was his job? I, I don't know. I was so scared, I ended up going home alone. But according to Ida, it only takes 10 minutes, and is good for people who don't stand out. Um, what happened after that? Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? That's not my classroom. Oh, there she is. Please tell me about the job, or else my beloved Francois. She's still doing that? All right, take over for her. Give it up, Ida. Uh, come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. Nishiyama told me everything. Damn Bastard! <gasps> Damn it! That's your best friend! Why'd you call him that? Do it for Francois! <laughs> Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? Okay, in all fairness, though, everyone kind of gossips about your secret job, your job right now, Ida. So kids kind of know. Pe kids are kind of like, for some reason in this school, Everyone just knows everything about each other for some reason. Um, maybe because, maybe because in- What are you getting at? You're a pizza smuggler. That's right. You have to smuggle it to people while it's still hot. I mean, not that kind of <laughs> smuggling. Of all people, I can't believe you were the one to find out. Well, 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 what you gonna do? Right. The school's troublemaker found out. Me, 
Akira, the school troublemaker. I just- I can't believe- everyone's just scared of him, but he's just a dude. Like, literally, he's just a dude. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Uh, did you accept the money? Are you being threatened? Um... I don't care about him accepting money, but I care if he's being threatened. So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? Not a bad idea. Just kidding. You're joking, right? Either way, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. All right, let's go. Just as we planned, we might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. This is it, everyone. This kid's gonna join the Mafia. <gasps> Makoto! Hello. Are you investigating here with your friends today? I hope so something comes out comes of it. I'll be counting on you. Mm. Is she following us? Nah, that can't be. Makoto says like that. Oh. Hey, aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. Uh, I'm busy. Oh, well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. <laughs> Who's that? Man wearing hat. What's wrong, kid? Don't see guys like me very often? I don't want to ask him if he's in the Mafia. I don't think he would. Hmm, is that supposed to be some kind of password? I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't been here long. Try, to talk, try talking to someone else. I don't want to be mean to him. I think he's just a homeless dude trying to get by. Introduce me. It ain't so easy. I only know one guy around here. Sometimes I see him in the alley across the way. I don't think he's there today. He might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. I see. Hmm, maybe this other person would know something. Apparently he's near the train station. Got him. You know what? You're the best. I don't know your name, but you're probably a Chad. So you take care, sir. Station Square. Oh, hello. Miss President's here. I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on, eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all of this. Well, let's get, just ignore her because if she's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things how are things on your guys' end? Nothing so far. I'm going to try staking out the underground walkway. Then I'll get I'll check around the in Inugami line. I guess I'll get there from the uh, get there from the underground. I will gather more intel in the underground shopping mall as well. Please continue on your end, Luna. Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. Aww. Morgana. He loves us. Makoto, what the hell? Oh. You seem to be working hard. Did you find any clues? No comment. I can tell when I'm not wanted. I won't stand in your way. Aww. Oh. Oof, I hate being cold to her. I hate being cold to her. Hello? Hello? I got to Shibuya just fine. But there was a homeless guy out there and they're supposed to meet. Where were we supposed to meet? I had to run away from him. Yeah, when you go down the stairs out of the jail gate, I'm in the square now. I was so afraid. He was sitting by the wall. Yeah. Huh? Going on um, underground walkway? Homeless dude. What's the scary look on your face? If you have something to say to me, just say it. I want a part-time job. A part-time job? You're not talking about the ordinary job, huh? Take my advice. Don't do it. 
They'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends have fallen victim to their schemes. That mafia is evil, I tell you. How do I meet them? Your friends should run away? Why would I say we friends are, why would I say that? I'll just go for it. It's easy to say that, but none of them have places to go. They just just don't go anywhere near that mafia. But just so you, you know who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. They use some weird phrases, code words, you know? And that's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear my any of that stuff. They'll try to come for you even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. You, Luna, there's nothing over here. Look, someone is asking about a video shoot over by the train, but I guess it's for models? In any case, they're not here. Go try to see what Ruji and Yusuke have. Where are they at? Where are you guys? Hello, young man. Would you happen to know how I got good board the Inugami line? Uh, uh, go down those stairs, then turn left. Be careful, Granny. Oh, Shibuya is so complicated. These bones don't move like they used to either. How oh, troubling. Arr, come on. Oh. Oh, Luna! Sorry, my lead didn't end up being anything. That dude in, at the stairs is pretty misleading, huh? Sheesh! Oh, what about Ann and Yusuke? You should go check on him. I'm just trying to sit here and understand where else he could possibly be that I'm missing. just where Anne is. He can't be in the same spot as Anne. Because I know him, they're all spread out in different spots. Why? Come on, man. <laughs> You're lucky there's not a beat up option right now, Yusuke. I was simply wondering where the arcade is. I'll be going. Did you leave? Did you leave the underground mall? For an arcade! It better be worth it, Yusuke. Arcade? You're a high school student, aren't you? You better not be looking for trouble. All kinds of shady activity happens at arcades. What are you talking about? There's nothing more than a place you can go, go to play games. That's it? Nothing? Not even- not any useful information after all of that?! I'm gonna- <laughs> Now what?! Oh. Hello? Hello? Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? Oof, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate being a cold to her. But I wanna see what her reaction would be. I, I know I would I would have picked either the first or the third option. But I'm I'm picking it just so to see a different response. It's none of your business. I take it that means no. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. No, Makoto's sad face hurts me so much. It's real easy. I guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh. <laughs> You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Eh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? I'll call the cops on you. I don't want to pull that. I feel like they have connections to cops. But let's see if they'll let's see if that'll confirm my suspicion if I say that. I'll call the cops on you. Oh. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, Boom. I can't hang. See ya. He probably wouldn't say that then. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that knowing who he is? <sighs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. Stock him, stock him. 
I'm amazed you figure it out. Ooh, that's kind of that's kind of a backhanded compliment. I want to see if she gets pissed at me or sad at me. I don't have any proof. Though. Okay, she just took that normally. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. I feel like she didn't really take that personally at all, but I feel like it would have come off really backhanded depending on how how I said it. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. No, I'm going to go now. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. Aww. How about it? Want to meet up? You guys can decide. Do you think it's safe, though? We did ask tons of people, so there's a chance we're getting followed. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. Someone will be setting soon, so let us disband for today and report on our findings tomorrow. Is it weird how Yusuke sounds like the like level-headed older brother through text? But then you meet him in like in person, and he's the weirdest dude you'll ever meet. Like Yusuke is so weird, but he's actually like considerate of other things. Why don't we meet up at the karaoke tomorrow? We could talk in private. It'll be cheap after school. Oh, that must be what would they call a hustle hour. Dude, it's muscle hour. Wait, is that wrong too? Um, hello? Happy hour? Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Anyway, see you guys at karaoke tomorrow. Aw, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. And we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean, change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that no. mafia's stealing money from kids. I be that's not how Makoto is. Y'all are going too far with the rumors here. No, Ryuji, that's not how she is. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. Mmm. Someone think for me? <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I'm seriously drawn a blank. Wait, that journalist! Oh! You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? The business cards of Ichiko Oya of my Mayasa newspaper. GG. Makoto? They were asking if you made any lifestyle changes recently. Oh, sorry, I was reading it normally. Hold up, hold up. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. She's not being open to her sister. But her older sister's coming off like a... Uh, she's giving single mother stressed vibes. But I think her sister, like, Sai seems like she's well off right now. Like, she can take care of herself, has a good job, finances is not really a problem for them. But she's coming off as, like, a mom, a mom who's, like, not really, like, you know, taking care of her sister's, like, feeling, or her, her daughter's feelings. And they're sisters. She should take care of her, or her understand each other's feelings more than anyone. Whoa, I didn't mean to skip ahead. 
Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed in sex work. Oh. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know a few such cases. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. <sighs> They're unforgivable. Nijima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me, too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please. Please hurry. That's right. See, Makoto's like ideal. She is someone who wants to like help. It's just so hard for one person to do it, so she needs other people to work with work with to help her, you know? I mean we probably run into Nakaoka and and then be stuck around here. You got any ideas? How about protein lovers? Not today, man. No way. I didn't get I didn't bring any spare undies, so I'm not going anywhere near there. Why do you need spare undies? Guess it won't hurt to peek around the gym if they are there. Maybe we can. Herg. Whoa! Nakaoka! Take Takeshi! What the hell are you guys doing? We just have a few questions for Nakaoka here. It's none of your business. So what, you're gonna ask him questions with your fist? Anyways, ain't, uh, ain't a three-on-one kind of cowardly? The only cowardly one here is Nakalka. All that shit Kamashita put us through is his fault. He was telling that bastard secrets about us the whole time. What? Huh? That's a lot of bull! There's no time for arguing. Yeah, I mean the track team's coming back, so you don't gotta fight. Sh shut up! I'm telling you this piece of shit sold us out. How do you think Kamashita found out about our parents, Sak Sakamoto? He's gotta be a snitch. Whoa! H hold up! Out of the way, Sakamoto. We'll beat the shit out of you too if you really need to. If you think that's gonna make you feel better, go for it. But you're gonna wish you didn't. Trust me, it feels real, look real bad looking bad on shitty stuff you've done. Huh? Look. Even if Nakaoka was working with Kamashita, ain't it fine now? The bastard's gone, so you guys can just put this crap behind you. There's no reason to fight, yeah? We can't keep people around who are gonna try and undermine our team. But I didn't do anything. I wasn't working with Kamashita. No matter how much you hit me, my answer's gonna stay the same. Yamauchi told us all about it. Huh? Yamauchi. Come on, Takeshi, we gotta get out of here. It'd be real bad if anyone else showed up. Nakalka, shit like you's and welcome back on our new track team. You better remember that. <sighs> you okay? What the hell was all that about? All that? Just stay out of this, Akamoto. It's nothing to do with you. But... When you hit Kamashita, you were really hitting all of us who tried so hard to endure this BS. You might have felt relieved, but it only made life harder for us. Because of you, you lost the one place you could vent our frustrations. The one place it could really belong. Tensions got pretty high after that, and things just been kind of rough from then on. You really think it's all fine now, huh? Well, what if I told you they're were, they were, they were right about me? Would you still think it's fine if I was the one who told Kamashita about your parents? <sighs> yeah. If you told him, you told him. I'm over all that stuff with my parents anyways. Besides, hey. I realized something, Nakalka. I might have messed up with Kamashita back then, but hanging on to the past ain't gonna help anything. I'm just gonna focus on being myself now. On being free. What are you talking about? Free, huh? Haha. <laughs> hey. Luna, you get what I'm trying to say, yeah? 
Absolutely. Heck yeah! Right. He's the one who hasn't- who wasn't making any sense. Hmm. I guess being free is like... It's like how I feel when I'm talking to you, man. Can you explain that? Uh, I don't know how else to explain. I just feel... free. I really don't understand. <laughs> we stuck a repeat or something. <laughs> That's cute. Rank up! We only got four more to go for you, G. Stop looking at so much, you look like a tourist. Whoa! I was just find that place we were looking for. Crossroads bar right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. Welcome to Izakaya. How about y'all, uh, some of y'all can drink booze of the cheap? Wait, you're underage? Is that a problem? Heh, <laughs> so you're just a kid. Get out of here, you're in the way. The hell? You're the one who want us all want- You're the one who was all wanting to talk to us. Oh, I believe in Japan, the age drink limit is eight- Or the age drink, I think, legally you can start drinking at 18 over there. Which I think 18's okay. Like, I know- I know some countries do 16, which I think is a little odd, but I think 18 is fine because when- 18 is when you first enter college and people will be drinking in college and sharing it anyways. Um, that's just what happens. Excuse me! I'm not reading that. You know what's going on. I'm not interested- TELL ME MORE! You have a moment? Oh. Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. I'm an adult. Yep. Uh, people mistake us all the time for younger kids, though. Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Oh, wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Oh shoot, Rigi, idiot! Oh yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Oh, shit. Now, you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run! In all fairness, we would have gotten. How much longer until we get there? We probably would have got ID'd. Our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Oh, man, we ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught last time too. Very nice. You're. I don't want to call him useless. I'm picking it because I'm pretty sure I picked the first one last time. No Aww. I can't say nothing bad. Aww. Feel bad, but I'll leave this to you guys. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. I felt so rude. Welcome, welcome. Lala Escargo. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala Chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? What? What do you want to know? Who controls Shibuya? Oh. Why that? Mmm. I have intel on their boss. Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? Bro, if only you knew. Are those your terms? Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm. A 
student who suffered from abuse. Mishima? Oh, what about mm -hmm. that Mishima guy? Mm -hmm. He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I want to drag him. But then again, Mishima already kind of figured out that we're kind of the Phantom Thieves, so I guess why as well. Alright. I think I know someone. It's a deal then. Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. I'm very thankful. Now that I'm I very think thankful. About it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. Junya Kaneshiro. probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! Nailed it! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. For real? Junya Kaneshiro? Uh, no hey, not so loud! Junya Kaneshiro. And enter. All right. There we go. Okay, now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Wait. Let's try tomorrow. Be better when we all have our when we have the whole team together. Right. I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. Dude, it's totally crazy though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Hey, some girl messaged me saying you told her about me. Yes. She said she's interested in me. What's this about? And what kind of girl is Oya son? Is she cute? <laughs> oh, Mishima. Someone date Mishima, please. He's so precious. Oh no, Mishima. Oh no, he's gonna be so disappointed when he just finds out she's a journalist investigating. He's so cute. You'll uh, definitely, totally cute, definitely hot. I mean, I'll tease him a bit. She's totally cute. Seriously? Oh yeah, son. She said she wanted to talk. How much more forward can a girl get? Is this really what I think it is? Could it be? I'm so mean. <laughs> I'm so mean. You'll find out. Man, I'm so looking forward to this. This is all thanks to you. I feel like starting the fans has really changed me. Anyway, I can handle this. You introduced me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. I totally let you know if we end up hooking up. Mishima. Oh, Mishima. And I'm no better. I'm egging this on. Akira, stop egging this poor boy on. He's just a, he's just a cute boy. He's just trying his best. She is a cute journalist. But Jesus, Mishima. I like how- Mishima did not ask any questions. He just says, A girl contacted me? That's it. Date time. I will look slick. That's Mishima. He's so funny. He's so cute. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. Oh, I'm sure you had fun. Anyways. Oh, their, their summer outfits are cute. Why does Joker wear the same exact thing? Or their casual outfits. I like Yusuke's casual outfit. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Ah, oh, that's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm, it's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? Uh... A uh, bank? I see. Oh! Okay, that's a hit. So, 
He thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. Shibuya? I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. What? Mm. Like, the entire city? I Shibuya see. Bank, then. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. Beginning navigation. It's time! What are those? What are those? Welcome to ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. That's so strange. I have zero memory of this whole section from P5. But for some reason, Makoto's palace and whole section is just a blur to me. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. The people. Assume so. I never thought it would be the entire... Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. Oh. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's got to be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Oh! Okay, let's go. In any case, let's look for a bang. There should be a huge one around here somewhere. They are- ah, oh, got it. When their dance game came out, they look- I loved it so much on them. I just love how they make all them- all the fashion fits, like, match their personalities so- uh, so well. Joke, you got Joker with this like casual. You got Ryuji. Ryuji would be the most to wear like. Um, Ryuji and, uh, and Anne wear like the most like revealing like you know off shoulder stuff, casual. Yusuke wears all like the artistic like how to they're kind of out there, which is why he's wearing galaxy pants. I love it. I love it. Let's go, Shibuya. Here we come. Hey, look at that person trembling over there. Do you think he's a victim? We should talk to him. Uh, uh, do these guys have mouths? Excuse me, can we... Oh, please forgive me. Anne looks like she's about to refer referee a breakdancing competition. Oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, her baggy pants and, and crop top does really cute. See, I can see it. She looks so cute. I want to see Makoto's too. What happened? I don't have any more. Please, I'm telling you, not even one yen. Come on, man. Well, cool it. We're not trying to mug you or anything. Please, I don't want to end up like the others. Were you assaulted? Eek! <sighs> There's no doubt he's a victim, but he can't even hold a goddamn conversation. Let's try someone else. Wait! 
Oh look! Do you think that's a person? That person's a victim too? Hey. Excuse me. Can we have a word? We are. It's no use. It's all over. I'll end up just like them. What happened? Can't you tell? I've fallen. I've fallen so far. From a place where Kanashiro leaves no tracks. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh wait, he said that. Hey, you gotta tell us a little more than... I'm too tired. Please, let me rest. Oh! It doesn't look like this one's going to say anything. Oh my god, I just noticed that's Morgana. I was like, what is this cotton candy thing next to us? Kinda should have leaves no tracks. Does it mean, you mean literally or could it be figurative? Hey. Hey, why don't we go all over the intel? We All, all the intel we have now. Hmm. They've apparently fallen quite far. Wait a second, they've fallen from a place where Kanashir doesn't leave any tracks. Could that mean they were actually thrown down from somewhere high up? Uh... What? You mean like a skyscraper? Uh, there ain't any of those around here, I don't hmm. think. No. Wait, what's that? Is that it? Is that a flying saucer? Up in the air. No wonder we couldn't find it. Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! This may be the limit of what we can do today. <sighs> we gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? <gasps> I've been I'm thinking glad. Lately. I'm glad I double checked. Yes, Makoto? About those phantom thieves, I mean. If Dad were still alive. Sorry, I. I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. It's okay. Keep going. Aw, listen to your I sister. I just wonder if he would have been on their side. That's all. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. That's not... You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, Don't home. be like that, I've had Sai. no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. I forgot the scene even happened, but that hurts. I felt that. I felt that. Okay, so let's let's keep this in mind. Sai's frustration is that she's also she was a daughter, she was young, she's the eldest, and she has a much younger sister. She had to do work like her ass off to get a good job so she could take care of her sister. So yes, her younger sister is eating away at her life in a way, but she shouldn't have said that to her sister. What can her sister do? Like, she's just a student in high school, and she's, even then she's doing really good in school. And trying to help whoever she can. Like, you could- you could- okay, Sai's perspective. She had to get a job because her dad- parents died. I don't know what happened to the mom, but dad died, whatever. I don't know the reason to, they might reveal it, so don't spoil it for me. That sucks so badly, but... When she said you're useless to me to Makoto, that hurt. Um... She's frustrated that she has to be a mother. Does that make sense? Like she has to- she's basically a single mother. <laughs> Which sucks. She, she's, she probably just wanted to be a young girl just like having fun, you know? So like, I get it. She was- she was- she became- she became a single mother like not by choice, right? It just happened. She had to take up that role. <laughs> That's painful. Makoto. Sorry. That was uncalled for. I'm just- okay. Really tired. Okay, at least you apologized immediately after. It wasn't called for for sure. At least you acknowledged that. If you just 
bro, like ran off. That would have been so immature of you. But you are really tired. You do work so hard with these cases, but still. If she just walked off, I would have been upset at her. But she didn't. She caught herself. And that means Makoto can understand that her sister's just frustrated. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. <laughs> Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro. Hmm? Miss Makoto. What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. <gasps> useless? No, they did it. And come on. Oh, Makoto just wants to. She does. Please understand her better. She does want friends. Right now, you're useless to me. Please don't do that to her. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. Just stay you on the not you watch. two. Or do you want to eavesdrop since you're so good at it? Don't be like that. Come on. So you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. It seemed you just needed to find out where he is? That's the only way. No, I'm not gonna- Oh. Do I want to be a jerk and add on to this? No. Let me be- God dang it. Let me be the neutral. I'll be the neutral. I do not- I'm sorry, that hurts hearing it from Sai and hearing it from Anne and Yusuke. I don't know why Yusuke's mad at her either. Yusuke barely met her. He should have been more neutral in my opinion. Alright, he met her only like once versus Anne and the rest. We met her more often. No, I really- that hurts hearing that. I'm gonna pick the middle option. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly. So, you're just the good girl type to push over. Right now, you're useless to me. I'm not. What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. What exactly is she planning on doing? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Ugh, what is up with her? There are way too many people here. <sighs> We're never gonna find her. Hello, it's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. <gasps> This is what I was huh? scared of! Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street? She's being too rash. What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students of Shujin Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? He says he'll meet you. Get in. Makoto! He me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in! Wasn't that... It's the guys that messed with us the other day. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro-san. Tell him we got a good one. Cute! Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kanashiro-san's customer. 
Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them. Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll... Okay, I've got their license plate. My sketching skills have come in handy. No! Ah, shit, you fool me! No! No, 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 no! Okay, good thing, but she's smart to keep online, but she's definitely being rash, like, um, Yusuke said. No! And if, imagine if we can't do anything about it and we can't keep her online. No, what if we're too late? We couldn't even go after her. That's insane. Damn it, I said stop. Oh, shoot. Ryuji! Ryuji, too! Hurry up and get in. So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san! What the hell did you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits! Holy moly! That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one, how much was it? Mm, about three million. Wow. Oh, for real? Better thank those guys. Uh, a little face down. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. So, good luck. What is that supposed to mean? Oh! Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? Uh, that's... Oh, damn, I got booze and cigs in the shot. Maybe some drugs, too. Ah, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police. And I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I want to give you the usual month, but well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then, no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. Three weeks for three million yen. Things have taken a serious turn for worse. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag you in like this. <laughs> for real. I was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke! I was so caught up in trying to be useful. Alright, enough of the blame game. It's done is done. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. No. I'm still a child. So all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. You that's scared. why you were so reckless? I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, 
The truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. I kind of hope the next Persona game allows you to choose genders. Yes! You know, like, similar to Pokemon? I wish that we can do that. I genuinely wish we can do that. You know, like, or Pokemon or Fire Emblem, uh, the recent Fire Emblem game? Like, have the same exact story, but you can pick whichever gender you want. And also, let you date whichever character you want, despite the gender. I don't want gender lock dateable op options, too. Or whatever, max confident, I don't care. Please! Like, I just want them, like, I just need that options to be set. Persona 3 Portable- Well, no, Persona 3, though, they made femme version of Minato. I, don't, I forgot her name. But then when they made her, they made her intentions of, like, dating only the male characters. So, like, I want the, I want them to ungender, like, let you pick genders, but also let you, like, a romance or whatever, high confidence or whatever, with any gender you pick, but for any of the characters. I genuinely want that. I really wish they could do that. You don't have to change any interaction differently, I'm pretty sure. Just, like, just make it- just make each switch character bodies, that's it. And keep everything else the same. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough? I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. Yay! This is what I wanted. To belong either. Isn't that right? Why am I tearing up? Mako deserved this. I'm sorry. She worked so hard and carried the burdens by herself. She wanted people to share burdens with, and now they're understanding her. This is making me tear up. And Yusuke understands the place of belonging a bit right now. He's kind of in that little slight, slightly in that pickle right now. But I mean, he found that with us. Me either? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kanashiro? No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. My heart! If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji! Bank? Oh, right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um, are you all okay? We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank! <gasps> Which see. means we can enter! The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to where? Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. Beats me, she says, you know. A canine? It's Fox. <laughs> Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That voice... Takamaki-san? Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well... The world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another reality? It's... Floating in the air. Th this is reality? 
Oh, oh it's sucking all the money up. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. A reality that one's heart shows. Is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? Wow! That's something we have no idea about. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like overriding their cognition. I will say one thing I am sad about sometimes is the pronunciation of names sometimes. Yeah, they get sometimes they're really off. But recently I've been noticing in English dubbing is they are actually trying to like uh, pronounce the katakana of the Japanese names a lot better. At least not katakana, I'm saying that katakana. As in like katakana in our sense of English speakers. I've noticed that voice actors in English have been trying to pronounce the the names better. And I'm hoping that everyone could continue, continue that. Because sometimes they say it's so, so wrong. One time, <laughs> there's this character named Mariko in um, Elfenleid. Lied. Elfenleid. And in the English dub, I kept laughing because whenever they say Mariko, they kept saying Mariko. <laughs> It was the most American pronunciation. Th it was very up. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? No, that don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? It came to us. Oh. It's just as I calculated. So only customers are allowed in. Yeah, I straight up don't remember this one. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? I thought that I'd be able to get in. Since I have the same identity as such customers. Look at Makoto! I'm kind of sure a source of revenue after all. She's catching on. Oh, that makes sense. But wow, this place is huge. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We are totally robbers. You got that right. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't. Oh, she, she can defend herself. Don't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Oh, we look so cool! I love this with the area we're in. I think we look even better. Oh my god, yes, we're wearing this. Heist Squad. Is that what this is based off of? The Heist series on Netflix? Is that- well, no, I think they're wearing completely different outfits, but I think it fits. Money Heist, the outfits we're wearing, I think it fits perfectly. We look great. I'm vibing. But thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you lovely lights for joining me tonight. As always, whatever it is for you, day or night, make sure you drink your water, take care, and bye-bye!